In this video, we're going to talk about projecting one vector onto another. So here we have two vectors, u and v, and we want to project u onto v like this. When we do this, we're going to create another vector, or the projected vector, and it's going to look like this. And so we want to figure out what this new vector is. The way we can do that is we can use this formula. Um, so it's written the projection of u onto v. And you can remember this because the one that you're projecting goes on top, so the u here, and then the one you're projecting onto goes on the bottom. So it kind of makes logical sense as if we're projecting u onto v like this. Um, but the formula is projection of u onto v equals u dot v over the magnitude of v squared times v. So the vector that you're projecting onto, in this case for us it's v, that's the one that's going to show up um, three times. So what we're going to do in the next part is just going to look at a few examples. For this first example here, let's say that we have vector u, which is 4, 3, and vector v, which is 2, 8. So we want to find the projection of u onto v. And so we're going to use the formula u dot v over the magnitude of v squared times v. So first off, we're going to find this dot product. So we're going to do u dot v, and this is going to equal the vx components multiplied, so 4 times 2, plus the vy components multiplied, which is 8. This is going to be 8 plus 24, and that is 32. So we have our dot product. And now we want to find the denominator here, so that's the magnitude of v squared. So let's find the magnitude of v. And this is going to be the square root of vx squared plus vy squared. So for y, this one, we have 2 squared plus 8 squared. So this equals the square root of 4 plus 64, which is the square root of 68. So now we can start plugging everything into the formula here. So I'm actually going to copy this. All right, so now when we plug things in, we get 32 goes on top here. And then we have over square root of 68, and that's all squared. And then our vector v is still 2, 8. So first things first is this square here and the square root, they're going to cancel out. Um, so we'll be left with 32 over 68 times 2, 8. And then we can pull one two out of here, so that becomes 16, and this becomes 34. And we can pull another two out, so this becomes 8, and this becomes 17. And so now if we rewrite it down here, simplified, we're going to have 8 over 17 times 2, comma 8. And then we multiply this out, it's going to be 16 over 17 and 64 over 17. So this is our new projected vector, the projection of u, again, onto v. So getting a little crammed down in the bottom here, but there is our answer. For this next problem, we have vector v, which is 3, 5, and vector u, which is 6, 2. What we want to find is the projection of v onto u. So this um, formula here is a little bit reversed. So before we were doing u onto v, now we're doing v onto u. So when we write out this formula, it's still going to be u dot v on top. That doesn't change. But on the bottom, we're going to have u squared, and then we're going to multiply everything by u at the end. Okay, so again, the process is going to be the same. Let's figure out what u dot v is first. So this is going to be vx times vx, 6 plus vy times vy, 5 times 2. This equals 18 plus 10 equals 28. Okay, now let's find the magnitude of u. So it's going to be 
3 squared plus, oh, we're using the wrong one. We want u. So in that case, it's going to be 6 squared plus 2 squared. And this is going to be a square root of 36 plus 4, square root of 40. Okay, now we have our two values that we need, and now we can plug them into this formula. So it's going to equal 28, which is u dot b, over square root of 40 squared times 6 comma 2. So again, the square and the square root cancel, leaving us with 28 over 40 times 6, 2. Pull a 2 out of here, that's 14, this becomes 20, and then another 2, this becomes 7, this becomes 10. So it's going to be 7 tenths times 6, 2. And so our final answer, the projection of V onto U is equal to 42, 10, and 14, 10. So this can actually be simplified a little bit more. We can have 21 over 5 and then 7 over 5. And there is our projection. We can also visualize this projection of V onto U by simply plotting these points on a Cartesian plot like this. So our first vector V is 3, 5. So let's go over. Let me actually center this a little bit. Okay, so we'll go 3 and then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have vector V here. And then u is 6, 2, so 4, 5, 6, and then 2. Okay, and so we are projecting v onto u. So we can imagine, if I just do an approximation, that it would look something like this. And this new projected vector that we just formed is going to be in red. And our answer was that it was 21 over 5 and then 7 over 5. So this is going to be around 4, and then this one's going to be just a little over 1. So 1 point, say, 2 or something. So if we look here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and a little more, which this was an approximation, so that's fine. And then we have a little above 1. So if we come up here, like, yeah, that's just about where this vector would fall. Um, obviously, this is not to scale, but just by visualizing, we can make sure that the answer we got, this projected vector, is in the ballpark of where the actual vector should be.